When Tektronix started producing oscilloscopes, printed circuit boards with adequate performance were not available. So Tech invented the ceramic terminal strip. They invented a way to attach a silver channel to a ceramic strip, which could be used to hold components. They even sold these strips to other companies. These strips were fired in a large continuous kiln in Building 13, the current home of the Vintage Tech Museum. There's a large bulbous extension on the building, still visible, inside of which the kiln was located. When Tech started building their own cathode ray tubes in 1951, they bought custom molded glass from a company in Ohio. Each new CRT design required the Ohio company to set up new tooling with resulting delay in cost. Tech decided to start making CRTs from ceramic, since they already had the kiln and people experienced in ceramics. New designs could be created quickly on campus without the delay in cost of dealing with a remote supplier. Solid metal inner molds were machined. The outer jacket was molded from semi-rigid polyurethane. Clamps were placed around the jacket. The assembly was filled with damp ceramic powder and a plunger on the top was compressed with tons of force. The compressed ceramic could be removed from the mold and fired in the kiln. There's more information on the process in the links below. Several problems had to be solved, including developing an airtight ceramic and bonding ceramic to glass and metal. An advantage of this technique was that CRTs with rectangular faceplates, which made more efficient use of front panel space, could be made much more easily than in glass. Tech made between 80 and 100 different cer ceramic CRT designs. Tech stopped making CRTs in 1996. Since then, a number of molds have been stored in the basement of Building 13. Recently, an intrepid crew of museum volunteers, protected with helmets and masks, made an expedition into the catacombs under the museum. One surprise was the number of molds that appeared to be for large round CRTs, that is, larger than 5 inches. We're not aware of any tech product that used such a large round CRT. The largest CRT made in ceramic was for the 611 storage monitor. It had a rectangular face. Also, the mold for the, the one-line CRT used in hard copy units. Some molds for the polyurethane jackets can be seen. These were made from welded sheet metal since they weren't subject to high pressure when the jackets were being molded.
Glimpses of molds for the 611 CRT can be seen. Parts of the kiln remain, including rollers and what appears to be an air control damper. <laughs> 